Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and welcome back to our networking series. So, okay, where we left off last time, because we still have a lot we need to handle. So, all right, let's do server.py. So it's sitting there. Okay, good, you can still see that. And we have client.py. So the server is sitting there waiting on the connection, and it sends a message. And the client receives it, prints it out, and then we're done. Well, that's kind of a little anticlimactic. So why don't we acknowledge that we have it and then maybe send something back to the server? So Okay, so we're going to be using our same connection and then receive and we need to turn this in, let's do data. All right, we kept 50, and then we're gonna print this out and data dot decode. All right, there we go. And, but then we actually then also need to send the message, s dot send all as a byte. Thanks for having me. Now, all this can be very, very tricky. So let's rerun this, and I'm going to show you some things that can go wrong. And also, we need, we need to talk about a lot of stuff. We need to talk about buffering. We need to talk about sending files. We need to... So we're sitting here, and we run this. Okay, so everything seems, I haven't even checked. Can we see this all good? All right, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me, and welcome to the server. So this was our client, welcome to the server, boom. And then we sent back, thank you for having, thanks for having me. But now I wanna show you, all right, so this right here is we're receiving 50 bytes at a time. Well, we need to have a plan of how to handle less or to know how much we're getting or to know if a message is complete because everybody knows about connectivity and breaking the connection or losing a connection or getting caught back up so we need to have a plan for that so we're going to talk about that soon next then we need to talk about sending information and files but what we probably really need to handle pretty soon is i need to show you this so what happens if we got out of sorts and this receiving got ahead of it. Oops, let's cut it. Because this can cause a problem. Save. And then we have received. So basically, we could have an issue where we have two receiving and nobody sending. And so if we look really, really close. We're both just sitting here. So there we go. That's our cliffhanger. So that's what we're gonna have to do. That's what, what, that's what the next few videos is gonna be about. How to handle and defend against these potential blocks. How to handle buffering. How to handle lost connections. And there we go. So a little bit of a cliffhanger today. Just thought I'd try it. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.